I'm Jordan Adams. I'm an assistant athletic trainer who works with the football team here at Texas A&M University. This is my second year, and I am originally from Merida, Georgia. My journey to Texas A&M started when I was a student intern under Dan Jacoby at a previous university. Dan and I have kept in contact over the past couple of years, and as I was getting ready to graduate from graduate school, um, he informed me that he would have a position in opening up, and I threw my hat in the in the circle and I kind of applied and that's kind of how I ended up here at Texas A&M University. So overall, my background, my race, my ethnicity has played a huge role uh, in my life. I grew up in the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia, which is pretty diverse. You had a various amounts of different races. You had a various amounts of different ethnicities. You had a various amounts of different individuals who make up different religious backgrounds. So in doing so, at a very young age, I was exposed to people who looked like me and people who didn't look like me. I was also exposed to different cultures, different um, religious backgrounds and things of that nature. And all of that really made a big impact on my life. Earlier on, I was, um, I did have the opportunity to travel different places and to meet different people and just to have a better understanding of where people are coming from, why they do the certain things that they do, and you know, getting to know them as a person first and foremost. I am an athletic trainer, but like I like to tell people all the time is that before I'm an athletic trainer, I'm a male first and foremost. And every day I wake up, I am a black male at that. Um, so that's played a huge role in my life because growing up, I was always taught to, you know, work twice as hard as the next guy and make sure that you're doing everything that you're supposed to do, making sure you're saying yes, sir, and no, sir, and giving, give no one a reason to say anything bad about you. Um, and how that really correlates to my life and just being an athletic trainer in general is a couple of things. Within the realm of athletic trainers nationwide, only 5% of athletic trainers in this nation are black. And that's kind of challenging because not very often am I able to work with athletic trainers who might be black, or not very often do I get to see a fellow athletic trainer who might be a black male. Often, I was the only black in many of my classes. I was the only black male for the majority of my um, undergraduate athletic training experience. And at times, it was kind of challenging because I not very often was I able to look up and see anybody from an athletic training standpoint who looked like me. And sometimes it's kind of daunting because you tend to doubt yourself at times thinking, you know, this profession isn't for me because there's no one who looks like me or this profession isn't for me because I can't relate to any of my coworkers or any of my classmates off the simple fact that I am a black male who is gravely um, underrepresented, whether it be at different universities or whether it be in the athletic training profession overall. Oftentimes, the majority of football teams are majority black. Um, so that's very important because representation always, always, always matters. From a healthcare standpoint, it's always important to have your patients kind of uh, have confidence in you and be able to be comfortable with you and able to kind of relate and identify with you. Um, oftentimes, it's very important to have a good sense of cultural competence because if you're kind of aware from a cultural standpoint of you know, how this athlete might think or why this athlete does the things they do or, you know, why this athlete might sound this way or why this athlete thinks this way is very, very, very important. I am fortunate enough to be able to work with a um, young, young group of guys. Most importantly, I'm fortunate to be able to get to knowing them as people first and foremost. Before they are student athletes, they are people first and foremost. So every day I am lucky enough to be able to work with them as a whole. And to be unified is to exhibit Respect, concern, and compassion for your fellow Aggies, whether you agree or disagree with their ideologies, their culture, and their various backgrounds.